hi there. Um, so, just got back from my trip there. And I guess I'm not supposed to show up to work for another two weeks, so trying to kill some time around here and one of the things I like to do a lot of times is go fish for whitefish it's um there's a lot of spots that are nice and close by here and it can be pretty good sometimes pretty fun they're finicky but they're pretty interesting so I'm gonna take the cameras out today and um, show you a little bit about um, what we do there so, so I'm gonna have some breakfast here some cold bacon and uh we'll see you out on the ice Same thing. there we go okay so there's the screen there's the fish so i'm gonna try and get this set up so we can can see everything got a little heat in here just keep the cameras nice and warm and uh let's get into some action here now a really important part of ice fishing when you're gonna be out here all day make sure you're comfortable pack some a nice hot beverage lots of snacks you sit here all day wait for these things to turn on sometimes they like it in the dirt sometimes they like to chase it try and figure it out here there we go it. No. It'd be very frustrating sometimes. So yeah, these fish aren't crazy big. These little Menominee, believe it or not, actually fight bigger than the fight better than the lake whitefish. So you'd be surprised. Looks like something spooked that one off. so frustrating sometimes you're such a small little thing but it's fun I tell you this guy wants it he's gonna eat it oh come on come on see oh maybe he likes it in the dirt yeah that's what he likes he wants it in the dirt Sometimes with these guys, you know, sometimes they're just hammering it. Other times they just, I'm not too sure what they want to do. I'm not sure if you can see, but I have quite a large hole here. I'm just really hoping my camera doesn't fall in the hole. Because that would suck. So they're being a little bit finicky, which is quite normal with these guys. Um, let me try something a little different here. 
put a little, little egg on there and just lay that on the bottom. Sometimes they'll scoop that up. Works sometimes. Try it out. It's much more of a waiting game with the egg. A little boring sometimes, so I don't know. Try it for a bit and switch back to the old waxy. Can you find the egg? I think you can find it. There it is. Oh no. Oh, I guess he didn't have it. I thought he had my egg. Damn. Alright, try that again. He wants it suspended. It's kind of cool. Coming for it. There's the egg. Oh no! How did I miss that? Oh, damn! <laughs> Came off my hook. Uh, get another one out quick. Let's get another one out quick. So it looks like they're on the egg bite pretty hard. So let's send another one down. He probably wants one. I want an egg. Here it comes. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, missed it. Set it back down the bottom again like that. Can't believe I'm missing these. Come up here again. No, get it. Get it, get it, you want it. What the hell, like? This guy's gonna get it. No, that wasn't it. First one on ice. That is what we're after here. Really stupid looking fish. They're yummy though. And on the egg. He just inhaled that too. Look at it. It's like disappeared that how can you fit that in that little mouth? We'll be back after these blisters. Okay. You know that was pretty sick. Um, just came in and it seems like they're really feeding on those eggs. So I'll just I'm gonna rig up another one here. Big one, big one. Oh no, 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 no! Come on. How did I miss that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just wonder. Sometimes, sometimes I think these fish get smart and they actually feel for your line, like they'll swim over top of your bait. So you can just see what happened right there. And they'll actually feel for the line. 
Um, I usually use about a six pound test fluorocarbon leader. I know some guys like use like four pound, and I think this is one of the few fish that actually does make a difference because they're very finicky. One, no, take it, take it, take it. Oh. I'm filming, but a little guy there. I preferred one of those bigger ones, but hey, action's action, man. So I'm not sure if I showed you before, but I was just putting, um, not very many, but a couple, uh, eggs down the hole. There's a lot of current here, so there's actually a hole that was, um, down upstream a bit. So I put a couple eggs in there, and they seemed to fall, like, almost like right under my hole, which was perfect, so. They're definitely feeding on those, I can see them down there, so. Big bites on. Quick update. It's around noonish. Seen the odd fish come through here. Uh, three so far. Kind of slowed down a little bit. And I just ran out of propane. Uh, well, I have a bottle button, thread strip or something, I don't know. But, uh, Anyways, gonna keep grinding her out here. Maybe uh, change back to the wax worm again, see how that goes, and let you know how it goes. But not big ones, but why are they fun? Stay tuned. Well, guys, things slow down quite significantly out here. Um, I've noticed that the current has been picking up like crazy. So I think that might have something to do with it, but caught a couple fish today anyways, which is nice because all the grocery stores are sold out of meat right now. So um, got a couple of whiteys there and we will put those up later. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. And uh, yeah, we'll cook those up and be a good day. Talk to you later. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so we got off the ice there. Got inside. Gonna cut these bad boys up here. Um, pretty basic. 
Just going to flame them up and real simple, simple fresh meat. Okay, so I'll try this out. Get a little fish here. Cut it right down here. Make sure you have a good sharp knife. Always key. I'm just going to fall along the spine. There you go. This will slab off there. I'm just going to slice the bone off the side there. Like so. Yeah, I can do it. That's not my thing. If you want to see a professional, talk to my guy Gordon. It takes ultra care with his meat. There you go. So I'm going to get all the uh, rib cage bones off there. So all you got to do is separate the meat from the skin. And you want to be careful because the whitefish skin is very thin and pretty easy to cut through. So, oh, oh yeah, I cut through it already. Pay attention. A lot of times I'll just slide the knife back and forth. That helps get through a little bit better. There you go. And then, we're going to find, here's a pin bone that goes along right about up to there. So you're going to cut straight along the one side of it. And then, it kind of angles out towards the top. So just kind of follow it along there like that. And you get on the other side of it, right there, and you cut straight down as best you can. And trim it right there. Bone free since 93. Yeah. That's it. On to the next step. Good morning. So, contrary to popular belief, whitefish is actually a breakfast food. So, this morning I'm going to make myself some breakfast whitefish. And I'll show you how I do it. Very simple. But, here it goes anyway. You're going to start off with some thick cut bacon. You can use regular stuff if you want, but if you want to do it properly, thick cut bacon is the way to go. So we'll start off by getting that fry in there. And then what we're going to do is that's cooking. Uh, I'm just going to make up a couple eggs here, beat up a few. Look at that double yolks. Just really whip the shit out of these things. Well, make sure you whip them real good. Whip it. Whip it real good. All right, so now we get our batter. Um, I like to use Cajun fish crisp, the best. Um, you can use anything though. And what you're gonna do, a little egg wash on these, you'll get your uh, skinless, boneless, white fish glaze that we cut up there. We're gonna dip that in the egg. Like that. Mm -hmm. So it's all nice and covered in egg. And then you're gonna put that right in the batter. Make sure it's nice and coated there. All nice, nice. Mm. Well, you'll see the bacon's uh, all cooked there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the grease from the bacon to cook the fish. You get your lovely battered up fillets and just throw them right in there like that. You're gonna wanna cut those till they're nice and crispy. those a few minutes all right so nice and crispy golden just gonna flip those over 
You'll have to be done in a few seconds there. But that is the perfect color right there. That's, that's just how you want it. Looking, looking pretty good there so far. All right, and you got your nice little cooked egg there. Serve on top. It's all about the presentation with this. And there, breakfast is served. Pairs nicely with a berry superfruit smoothie and a black coffee. Thanks for watching. Man, I'm bored.